Hi, this is Swati from the softwaretestinghelp.com team and in today's segment we'll talk about software testing certifications. So to begin with, um, since we are in the QA business for a long time, we are also in the QA, business, QA training business, we get this question a lot. Do you or do you not recommend certification to be successful in the QA careers? Now for one, there are all kinds of you know opinions when it comes to certification. Some feel like it is just theoretical and it might not give you um, the necessary insights into how you would want to perform in you know the real-time situation. On the other hand, there's also the argument that says that uh, the real-time work environment is you know you do what you're supposed to do, but at the end of the day, how do you validate whether or not you're doing it the right way? Um, you know how do you establish that level of theoretical uh, foundation that is required in order to be able to perform really well practically? So there are these two different groups of thought and at SGH we want to you know really take a very clear stand on this that we belong to the latter group. Uh, we really believe that it is important to really get some sort of a, you know curriculum based education a kind of formal instruction into how to perform testing and we also agree that you know when you go through the certification procedures you will not really get some insights on how to write test cases and all that. So when it comes to QA knowledge acquisition process um, both are equally important and to cater to the practical side uh, you know classes like ours might be really helpful uh, but for that theoretical foundation that you so much miss in any of these online forums uh, we really recommend certification. Certification not only gives you a clear cut idea of you know what to do, how to do, when to do and all that uh, but then it also is a way to really add a lot of weightage on your resume. Again, there will be always a conflict on this uh, aspect. There will be people who say yes, who will be who will say no, but we believe that it definitely makes a difference. Especially if you are a newcomer and the, when there are two resumes, absolutely no experience, everybody starting out fresh uh, and then if one has a certification, the other doesn't. Clearly that is, you know, um, that becomes a tipping point. The certification definitely becomes a tipping point in that um, you know uh, situation. And also certification especially if you are from a non-computer science background this will really instill the confidence in your potential employer about your commitment to the field and you know how much you are in here to stay and how serious you are about your decision. Um, so that being a little bit of a background on why certification has to be you know done and well again it's a personal choice of whether or not you want to go for it but if you do want to go for it there are these choices available. So one the most famous the most popular certification choice is IST QB CTFL or the foundational level examination. Then there's the QAI CSTE which stands for Certified Software Test Engineer and then this QAICAST, uh, Certified Associate in Software Testing and then there's the BrainBench Software QA certification. See the first three are mostly you know they have a worldwide recognition and they have this you know very um, a kind of formal approach to examination so they have these centers where you can actually you know book a date, uh, go ahead and you know some, present yourself for the exam. Uh, so they are more on the serious note. BrainBench also is serious, however BrainBench is a certification that you can do online at your home whenever you are ready and that kind of thing. Um, ISTQB, CTF, uh, CTFL, uh, CSTE, CAST, they have a much more world, worldwide recognition. BrainBench also does have it but since you know um, some employers don't regard it, uh, again this is again you know personal perspective, it differs from employer to employer. Um, they feel like since you're doing this at home, the evaluation process might not be as strict or as it is in the earlier circumstances. Um, now we'll come back to this in a little bit, but I really want to take you to the home pages of the certifications itself and then give you a brief idea of what we uh, have in each one of them. So this is the CTFL page. Um, so ISTQB, the good thing about ISTQB is that there are zero prerequisites. Um, Anybody is up, you know, can appear for it. The examination duration is short; it is one hour. Uh, the syllabus is pretty good, pretty comprehensive. Uh, there are four areas of questions that you'll get. We'll see that later. So this is the foundational level examination, uh, and then you know, depending on where you live, you just have to you know um, find a 
you know, uh, nearby location and fix up an examination date. It's a computer-based exam. It is completely, um, it is totally, uh, you know, a multiple choice based examination. Um, there are 40 questions and you have to get 26 of them correct. So the pass percentage is 60%. There's no negative marking. Uh, it's just a one hour exam and it's really, uh, you know, the preferred choice for most of our students. As you can see, the syllabus wise, it is pretty concrete, very good. Um, and for the latest fee and, you know, for the latest examination structures and the availability, please take a look at uh, istqb.org, the homepage for the most current information on this certification. Next we have the CSTE. CSTE is Certified Software Tester. It's a um, certification by QAI. Um, this also is a computer-based examination, but then there are some prerequisites if you want to appear for it. Um, now, whether when you see this is also an online application so when you make an online application do they ask for proof on that? No. Uh, but then these are the, you know, kind of uh, framework that these uh, the QAI sets about who is applicable to appear for this exam. The fee structure is that it is, you know, again, for the latest fees and everything, uh, please check out softwarecertifications.org uh, and then look for the CSDE. Now, the format of the examination is interesting here. It is a multiple choice plus essay writing sort of a situation. There are 100 questions each in the multiplication, uh, multiple choice, um, you know, section and it is for 75 minutes. Uh, the entire duration of this certification program uh, or, you know, the evaluation examination is two and a half hours and the pass percentage, minimum pass percentage that you need is 70%. Um, again, the examination is certification, uh, I mean, um, computer-based. So when you register for the exam, they will send you the material from which, you know, they will give you a detailed syllabus uh, from which, you know, you will be evaluated. Um, so this is called the CBOC or the Common Book of Knowledge. This book is uh, 561 pages as it says in this site, but then that also will undergo revision. Uh, another thing about CST certification is that uh, this certification is valid only for three years period of time, after which you will have to go back and recertify. Uh, so again, so this chart will give you a good idea of the comparison and, you know, pros and cons. Again, there are no pros and cons really. It's just differences, I would say. Uh, so for CSTE, there are prerequisites. And for ISTQB, there are no prerequisites. CAST also, there are prerequisites. So CAST is another certification option that is also from the QAI. Um, Syllabus-wise, it is pretty much similar, I would say, but this is a little bit, you know, um, not as broader as CSTE. Uh, the examination fees is also, you know, much less, but again, uh, please check out the website homepage for the most current information on it. Um, but this exam, the, the way it completely differs from CST is that it is completely a multiple choice based examination. So there's a 75 minute time limit on this and the pass percentage is 70% again. Of course, there is a um, expiry date of uh, within three years, you will have to go back and recertify for the certification to be active for you. Uh, then I was, as I was telling you, the brain bench. Um, so here, this is simple. You can just write the exam anytime you want. You can just, you know, um, this is completely online. You don't have to go to a test center or anything. Uh, you can just, you know, do it from your own, um, you know, wherever you're at. Um, so again, uh, the, these are the three most, you know, uh, interesting or the most preferred choices uh, when it comes to certification by most of the students. Uh, ISTQB again is the most famous always, the CST and CAST. Uh, I personally am a CSTE, so I really like the curriculum of CSTE, but that doesn't mean uh, ISTQB or CAST is bad. It's just my level of familiarity with it. Uh, so as you can see, the validity of CSTE and CS CAST is three years, but ISTQB is lifetime. The examination format is uh, for CSTE, there's essay questions and multiple choice. For CAST, it's, uh, for CAST and ISTQB, it is multiple choice. There is no negative pattern, no negative marks in any of these examinations. Um, the longest of all of this is CST for two, two and a half hours. ISTQB is the shortest, 60 minutes. Uh, I think I said the pass percentage for ISTQB is 60, but it is, I stand corrected, it is 65. 
for CSTE and CSTE of course it is 70 percent. Now most of the times we get this question which certification is preferable which one would you recommend? Now it's not really about which one I would recommend. It would really about it would really be about what you real uh, what kind of uh, you know we all have these um, you know certain rules and guidelines that we have for ourselves. So would you like to go for an exam that's open for everyone or something that has some prerequisites? Would you like to opt for something that's lifetime valid versus valid for three years? Would you like an essay writing format or would you like a multiple choice format? So this is a kind of comparison that is personal to you and only you will be able to make a choice. But syllabus wise, recognition wise, all of this certification have a worldwide recognition and we really recommend that when you take on the certification to not look at it as an evaluation exam only. See the in intention of the certification is to get yourself acquainted with the syllabus, with the set of topics that come with it and to be, you know, to, to gain a level of expertise on them to, you know, advance in your career. So we would suggest, so we what we suggest to our students is at least take a month to three months of time to prepare for it. So again, depending on how much availability you have, like, you know, um, depending on, you know, how much time you can put into this and all that. So take this one to three uh, months of time, adopt this curriculum to be a kind of, you know, guiding rule for you to conduct your day-to-day -day work. Um, by, and when you do that, you kind of get an understanding of whether or not, you know, a certain concept is valid uh, in your particular case. Uh, whether you want to follow it or do you see yourself making any revisions to it. So uh, adopt this as a philosophy for the next, you know, how, how much of a time you give yourself to, for preparation. And the evaluation is just something that comes at the end. Uh, so this is a this is a genuine advice, a recommendation of sorts that we make because a lot of times the focus is just on the exam and not really grasping about the entire, or, you know, ma not making the most of the uh, certification process. Um, Again, uh, again, we, we really uh, recommend that, you know, uh, when it comes to multiple choice questions, it, it especially so that you get a lot of practice. Um, and again, you know, try not to look only at the score aspect of, you know, passing the exam. Uh, try to get the knowledge that is part of, you know, the examination procedure. Certification is definitely useful. Uh, it's definitely a validation and, you know, a, a step ahead in your career charts. So we really hope that we have oriented you towards it and given you enough information on this. If you have any further questions, please feel free to let us know in the comments. Um, thank you so much.